All right, we're here now with Keith Hartman, the uh, writer and director of You Should Meet My Son. How did the movie go? I was, we had a really good audience for it. They were laughing a lot. I'm very happy. So tell us a little bit about what this movie's about. Uh, it's about a conservative Southern mom who finds out their only son is gay, and she freaks out and is like, oh, no. And then finally decides, well, I don't want him being alone and miserable. I better find him a husband. So it's all about her and her spinster sister going out on, like, manhunt and going out to gay bars and trying to find him the perfect husband. So now, is this autobiographical at all? Sadly, my mom has not set me up with anybody yet. So even sadder, I'm waiting for her, too. So... Well, it seems that you also have the short that was before the movie about Prop 8. Oh, yeah, yeah the um, Defenders. You're right. We actually are doing a whole series of those. We've got uh, another one up on my website, which is keith-hartman.com. You have to put the dash in or you get, like, an Australian plumber. It's, it's bad. Um, and we're, going, we're putting up a third one of those uh, in a couple of weeks. And they're all, like, pro-gay marriage, raw go team. <laughs> So this has kind of been your theme through, because you've also written a book, Congregation and Conflict. Yeah. So you kind of have this constant theme of, of religion and, uh, you know, wow. politics in, in your life. Oh, now that you think about all the stuff you've done. <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm not actually that religious a person. It just it keeps intersecting my life in so many ways. You know, it's hard not to. If Were you're you raised man. religious? No, my, my, I was actually raised, like, fairly, like, you know, we're Christian, but we're not, like, you know... Particular, <laughs> any particular bl brand of Christian. We're sort of, you know, like, yeah, you get kind of, you know, like whole wheat Christian. Mm. So you're just religious curious. <laughs> yes, that would be it. So now what got you into doing type of, this type of creativity in movies? Because you actually went to Duke to try and get a PhD in, in finance. Because yes, we do our research. Oh yeah. So from, from going from a PhD in finance to writing movies about strippers and gays. <laughs> yes. Um, well, honestly, I was working on my PhD in finance and I was like writing like little columns for the school paper that were all like, you know, funny sort of takes on gay politics and stuff. And one of my professors kind of looked at me and went, gee, Keith, you know, these columns are really, really funny. And I compare it to the crap you're writing for us. <laughs> it's clear where your real interest lies. Take the hint. Uh, so you got pushed out of it. <laughs> Gently pushed. But it's like your real talent seems to lie somewhere not with us. You might want to go pursue that. So what are you seeing in the future? More, more movies? More oh, QFest? Yeah, we've, actually, uh, we're, we've actually got... We're gearing up to try and do the next movie, so we're just getting this one out the door and hopefully into theaters and stuff. Um, hopefully the next movie is going to be something called Vampire Strippers Must Die. It, <laughs> it's really? An art, it's an art film. But it actually just won a Best Screenplay at, like, a New Fest. So, um, yeah, yeah. So it's... Uh, basically like Chippendales dancers on tour in Romania and half of them are gay and half of them are straight and they're just ready to kill each other and then they have to battle vampires. You like putting strippers in your movies, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Any more little political shorts like the Prop 8 shorts? Um, yeah, the third one's coming out in a couple of weeks. We, we shot it. It's called Changing Times. It's just been taking forever to do the music. So if you go to the website in a couple of weeks, it'll be up. Are you getting a lot of feedback from that? Because they've been very popular. I mean, oh, I've yeah, saw them. Got, we've had like something like... Uh, yeah, we're over 100,000 hits on YouTube right now with those. Yeah, and it's just, it's actually really great because, like, everybody's been helping out with those. Like, you need extras, everybody comes out and helps. You need camera, it's like, yeah, I'll volunteer. People donated lights, people donated food. I mean, it's, it's been just amazing how well the community comes together to help with that. Well, you should film one here in Philadelphia next time. <laughs> yes, yes, I could. Although right now it's kind of nice in California because everybody is so pissed off. It's like, yeah. excuse me, Iowa has gay marriage and we don't? How did this, how are we less gay-friendly than Iowa? Yeah. So we're kind of, you know feeling a little ashamed right now. Hopefully it'll be better eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We hope you have fun at QFest. Oh, I have been. Thank you so much.